Well, five years. Uh, on June 2nd, it will be five years uh, since I started doing the video game covers. And uh, I'm going to try to cover five years in less than 15 minutes on this video. We'll see if I succeed at that. Um, how did it start? Well, certainly not in any way I planned. I had I was just doing my thing back then. I was making um, classical covers of pop tunes and I was also covering um, Ronald Jenke songs. So the videos where I'm wearing this fedora and these uh, really thick glasses, which are fake, um, those were covers of his material. So uh, in the middle of doing that, uh, one morning about, I don't know, 5 a.m., um, I decided to try something different. It was different then. Um, I was teaching a piano student the Menu 1 theme from Melee, and I decided I liked the song enough to upload my version of it. Um, I didn't think anything was going to happen, but we just, uh, we just did that. In fact, I wasn't even totally awake. <laughs> um, the video was done very early in the morning, and we put it up, and... After that, I decided to put it on uh, the game music subreddit. Um, if you know what Reddit is, and the, they, it's uh, broken down into subreddits, and um, there's a game music subreddit. So I put it up there, and it, it did pretty well. Uh, but then one of the guys said, why don't you put that on um, the Super Smash Brothers subreddit, uh, which I didn't know existed. Um, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, and the rest is history. The thing went semi-viral in about 18 hours. And I guess I realized I was on to something. Um, so that was the very first game video. Uh, the, that theme from Menu 1, uh, of where it says, Choose Your Character. Um, so here's a little bit of that. did a whole bunch of melee covers um, and then uh, I don't know exactly where I got the idea from but um, I decided to buy this shirt and uh, when we did the uh, cover of opening from melee it's like when you first turn the game on um, I wore this shirt in that video and I didn't know that that was going to turn into uh, a collection of 80 t-shirts. I have 80 t-shirts and maybe 70 some hangers. Uh, so some of them are sharing a hanger. I, I ran out a long time ago. So anyway, uh, the tradition started of me wearing the shirts uh, in the opening video. So here's a little bit of that. So I continued doing melee uh, covers for quite some time, uh, and the, in the middle of that, um, a gamer known as Your Face uh, told me that he would like to make a game modification uh, which changed the music to my covers. Uh, talk about an honor. Um, he did that uh, and then sent me all these um, videos where he was playing the game but with my music um, so uh, I uploaded a few of those about three or four um, so here's one of those 
Up to this point, all the videos had been strictly piano. Um, I had started doing um, other games other than Melee, other than uh, Smash. I started doing some Zelda stuff. Uh, but they were all strictly piano. Uh, until uh, the day where I decided to do something that was very, very different for me. Um, did a cover of the Kakariko Village um, from Legend of Zelda's Ocarina of Time. And I used a melodica, that's the keyboard that hangs out of my mouth. Uh, and then I set this up for an acoustic guitar sound, uh, all of which was very out of the ordinary for me at the time. Uh, I chose that sound because it was the closest to the original. I was really trying to get the sound like the original. Um, and that video took off fairly quickly. It, uh, at one time, had 800 likes and zero dislikes, and those numbers have changed. Uh, there are some thumbs downs in the mix now, but at one time it was up to 800 to zero. Um, and I thought, my gosh, they like this. Um, so here's a little bit of that. some melee covers and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff as well uh, the ultimate game came out and I wasn't sure how that was going to affect my channel uh, it certainly did I've got mm, I guess 90 some covers now from um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate um, and this is the first one that I did it was the, um, the main theme because at one time that was the only thing that was available from Ultimate for people to listen to, uh, so I gave it a shot. pretty sure the first one was Joker from Persona 5. Uh, I did uh, a number of covers from uh, Persona 5, the uh, Joker themed songs that were featured in Ultimate. Um, one of them was Joker's victory theme and this is where I really uh, went off my beaten path shall we say and actually used a beatbox. Um, I had never used a beatbox in a video before but I thought it would make the victory theme sound more like the original. Um, so here's a little of that. Video would not be complete without me mentioning uh, Mr. Donkey. 
uh, the biggest uh, seismic shift in this channel was when he decided to use um, some of my music for one of his videos. Um, he is a video game donkey on YouTube, uh, has about 7 million subscribers. So when he does something with your, with your stuff, then your channel uh, just skyrockets, and that's exactly what it did. At first, I did not know what happened. Uh, the song was King DDD's theme, uh, which had been up for a little while, but he decided to put it in his classic Goose Game video, and um, my subscribers were going through the roof, and the view counts uh, for that video to this day are still way above everything else. Um, no one event has um, affected my channel as much as um, him doing that. So. Many thanks, buddy. Uh, here's a little of the uh, song that he used, King DDD's theme. Some time, I decided to do something even more different. This was doing the three instrument versions of songs, uh, which was usually this, and then the melodica was hanging out of my mouth also. Um, not the easiest thing I ever did. The first video I did that was in that vein was Lost Woods from Ocarina of Time, uh, Legend of Zelda. I had done Lost Woods already before, but certainly not that way. I uh, just wanted to give this new thing a, uh, a whirl, and uh, it ended up inspiring a whole bunch of other videos that were three instrument versions. Um, here's a little bit of that first one. This was uh, Lost Woods. <laughs> My most recent departure from the norm, if there is a norm here on Bear Keys, uh, was to do a video that actually contains some non-game music along with the game music. It was sort of a mashup. Um, the non-game music was uh, from the movie Kiki's Delivery Service from Studio Ghibli. Um, I combined that with the wind scene from Chrono Trigger. Uh, so far that's the only video I've done that way. Um, it, I don't know if I'm going to um, continue in that vein or not. We'll see. That's all I ever say is we'll see. I never know what's coming. Um, so here's a little of that. Thank you all for watching this uh, fifth anniversary video. I know I could have uh, included many more things, but I really didn't want this video being a half an hour long. Uh, 
I appreciate you all taking the time to watch my videos, but I do like to keep them short. Um, there were so many people that I need to thank, uh, way too many for me to really even start to go into that. Um, but uh, thank you, you know who you are. Um, so many people involved. Okay, uh, here's to the next five.